is my French bulldog, Monte Carlo. He hears the landscapers right now. Neuter, spay, thing. I do know that most surgery centers, like I said earlier in the video, we got Monty spayed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delaney and this is my French bulldog, Monte Carlo. He hears the landscapers right now, um, so he might start barking. But um, as soon as I started this video, the landscapers started doing the leaf blower. So I apologize if it's super noisy. Um, but today we are talking all about spaying, neutering, pros and cons, and what to expect going into it. I wanted to make this video because 80% of dogs in the US are spayed or neutered, but I really think it's a good idea for pet owners to develop their own opinion about whether or not it's a, it's a good idea for them um, and their dogs. Um, I wanna start off by saying that we did get Monty neutered. Uh, we got him neutered at about a year and we believe it was a good decision for us, but the reason I'm making this video is so you can decide if it's a good decision for you. Um, but yeah, so before we get started, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see. And yeah, let's dive in. So first I wanted to talk about how long the procedure takes and um, basically what happens during the procedure. Obviously I'm not a vet. I don't know exactly the step by step what happens <laughs> during the whole neuter spay thing. Um, but I will say that a lot of neuter or spays take about 20 minutes to an hour and a half, depending on what kind of complications that they have. Um, your dog is put under anesthesia and Again, French Bulldogs can have reactions to this that they're more likely to have problems with anesthesia just because of their smushed faces. They could have aspiration pneumonia. But again, this is unlikely in the grand scheme of things, but just know going in that it is a potential factor. I do know that most surgery centers or vets offices are going to monitor your dog the whole time, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. As long as you go to your trusted vet and somebody that is notable, read reviews, do your research, and just make sure you're going into it um, knowing kind of what to expect from that specific clinic or vet's office. Like I said earlier in the video, we got Monty spayed around a year and most males are spayed around, or sorry, we got him neutered around a year and most males are neutered around a year. Um, they do take longer than females to develop and grow. So we wanted to make sure he was full grown and you know, he wasn't going to, we weren't gonna stunt his growth in any way. Um, as for females, a lot of owners will do it before they go into their first heat. For Frenchies, that's usually about six to eight months. For other dogs, it could be as early as four months, just depending on the breed. But Frenchies, it is important to wait a, wait a little bit longer. Um, and obviously, if you don't want your dog going into heat, it's important to do it as early as possible, as early as the vet says that it's allowed. For recovery time, you're looking at about 14 days until the stitches are completely gone. Most vets will give you dis dissolvable stitches or will give your dog dissolvable stitches. That's what Monty had. He also had to wear a cone, so he wasn't looking at them. Um, and that's just kind of, Typical for any kind of surgery, your dog will wear a cone and you'll have to make sure that they don't irritate that area. But 14 days is a good rule of thumb. You probably shouldn't walk them or let them do a bunch of exercise during that 14 days. And obviously your vet or whoever's uh, doing the procedure is going to let you know that ahead of time. As for post-surgery risks, you know, again, these may not happen to you and they're probably not likely to happen, but I do want to mention them in the, in the video um, just in case, you know, it sways your decision on whether or not you believe in going forward with the procedure. So the first one could be a potential infection. Obviously, when you're opening up, messing with everything, there is potential for bacteria to get in there or after the fact, there could be infection. A lot of doctors will prescribe or vets will prescribe like an antibiotic. Monty was on an antibiotic, I believe, but it was also because he had his Boas surgery at the same time. So there could be a lot of reasons he was on the antibiotic. Um, but yeah, infection is obviously, um, a potential factor when going into any kind of surgical procedure. The second one is if the wounds open back up, if the stitches break and you're dealing with a bloody mess that could be very painful for the dog, that is obviously a post-procedure complication and risk that you just kind of have to 
except if you're going to get the procedure done. And then lastly, swelling or internal bleeding is possible, again, with any kind of surgery, but it's good to keep in mind. So now I'm gonna list the pros and then I'll list the cons of what I believe are the pros and cons of uh, spaying or neutering your Frenchie. The first one is you're, you won't have to deal with heat, which heat, if you don't know, is basically a period for dogs. This will only happen in females and you will have to treat it by cleaning it up, having your dog wear a diaper, dealing with them, potentially you know, messing with it and trying to deal with it themselves, which is never a good idea because they're just gonna create a big mess. So not having to deal with that is definitely a pro. Secondly, um, no unwanted pregnancies is definitely a pro. You don't wanna deal with a pregnant dog if you weren't looking to do that. Um, if you're not breeding your dog, that's obviously not something you wanna deal with. So that could be for males or females. You don't wanna deal with your male dog getting a female pregnant. And obviously if you have a female dog, you don't wanna to have to deal with the birth and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. Third is a big one and I'll probably reference this pro quite a few times. That is you are less at risk or your dog is less at risk for cancers or tumors if they have everything removed. So about 7% of dogs are going to develop a tumor or some type of cancer within their genital region, whether that's prostate cancer, uh, breast cancer is potential in dogs uh, if their hormone levels are high. Um, but if those hormones are taken out, if everything is gone from there, you are less likely to deal with that, which obviously is the biggest pro and that's what led us to neuter Monty. Again, if you're not dealing with cancer or tumor, you could still deal with infections. So you don't wanna deal with a uterus infection or a prostate infection either. Although these are probably a little bit more easy to treat, it's just not fun to deal with anyway. So just know that it is a pro that you won't have to deal with any of that if your dog is spayed or neutered. Next, this is an opinion and a fact, but I believe it um, helps their quality of life and could even expand their lifespan. Um, so if they don't have to deal with the complications of going through heat or having the different hormone levels, the aggressiveness, the whatever may come if your dog is unneutered, I believe that helps their quality of life and could increase their lifespan. This is a big one for pet owners who have pet insurance, and that is if your dog is spayed or neutered, you are likely to have a lower cost per month with pet insurance, basically because of what I mentioned above or before this, and that was they're less likely to have any kind of cancers, infections, or tumors. For behavioral issues, spaying or neutering could also help uh, for both males and females. So for example, if your male is really aggressive, getting rid of those hormones that kind of build up, um, that aggressive nature could lessen the chance of your dog jumping at other dogs, growling, trying to get out of the fence, that kind of thing. Uh, dogs that aren't neutered are more likely to wander because they're in search of a mate. And if they are neutered or spayed, they're less likely to do that as well. And if your dog is a humper, a territorial marker, um, or likes to mess with their area, spaying or neutering your dog might be the best option to limit those behaviors. Monty was never a humper, um, but he was a territory marker and he doesn't do that nearly as much now that he's been neutered and he doesn't really mess with his area much either. He doesn't try to lick it or anything like that. So that is obviously a pro for, I guess, both the, the human and the pet, but yeah. Next with the cons, um, like I mentioned earlier, complications are obviously a con. Now the other two are probably not as big of a con because they are avoidable, but the first one is weight gain in your dog with the hormones that aren't boosting metabolism or whatnot, your dog is more prone to gain weight, but keeping them on a strict diet or working with your vet to get them on the right plan to keep their weight maintained is probably the best option if you're wanting to keep your dog um, at a healthy weight. And then the um, third con would be if your dog has any kind of complications with the surgery that messes with their bladder muscles, they could have to go to the bathroom more frequently, which again, you can probably 
work around this. It doesn't have to be a con. Um, more frequent urination is not necessarily, you know, the worst thing ever. Um, you'd rather have that than something way, something, things could be way worse is what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, just know that that is a potential risk factor uh, with the surgery and therefore it is on the cons list. But yeah, I did want to mention, and I don't know much about this, but I did want to put it out there, that there are ways to chemically castrate dogs is what they call it. And it is a medicated way to lessen the hormones in their bodies. So basically it acts as a spay or neuter without actually taking the part out. And that is obviously an option as well. I don't know much about that, but I can do a video on that if you guys are curious. I'll do some research and make a video. If you guys want that, let me know. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.